Hello and welcome to February 18th, English 111 Online, Shaw University, Spring Semester 2019. What are we doing this week? Well, last week we introduced Writing Project 2, which is paper 2, which is a research paper. Woohoo! Now, if I didn't, uh, wasn't super clear on this, um, we were just basically learning how to do some research from the last time, and now we're going to start writing our paper. And if you're still unclear on how to really go about writing your paper, well, remember, hey, look, look, if we go at the top of the page here, we have the Writing Center. They can help even with you just getting started. Give them a holler. Say, hey, i got to write a research paper for English 111. Here's my directions. Okay, I think that the instructions that are in the thing are fairly self-explanatory, and the videos will help you with this. But just in case you need some extra help, it's feel free to reach out to the Writing Center. So what are we doing this week? Well, this week we are doing some fun stuff. When I say fun, we're meaning writing a paper. Well, of course we're writing a paper. This is a composition class. That's what we do. You know, what, what else would we be doing in a composition class? So we are going to write the first full draft of our writing project. So again, this is, if you look at the instructions for paper two, you are going to be writing a controversial uh, paper on a controversial topic that kind of follows this outline, okay? And again, the um, just two to five pages in length. It does not include the works cited page, all right? Um, and you need to be using kind of just go through the list and it used to be an MLA formatting. So the first draft here you're doing is you're just giving it your best shot. Okay, I say, well, what am I going to do? I want to just give it my best shot. And you're going to submit it in two places. So the same assignment you're going to submit to two different places. And this will make sense in just a minute. So what's going to happen is that after you've written your first full draft of your research paper, you're going to submit it here under the full, you know, you just click there and and then you go here and add submission, and then you would upload the paper. Either you drag or drop it, or click it there and hit set changes. So that's for it. So the same exact assignment. Um, not only are you going to submit it there, because that's for me as the professor to look at and be able to give you feedback, but also you're going to upload it to a discussion board for paper two. So what this is going to happen is that this is going to allow your peers to look at your work and to give you feedback. Okay, and we'll give you time for that to do that next week. So how you do that is you click on the discussion board for paper two, okay, and you're gonna add a new discussion topic, and then you're gonna give it a title, blah, 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 and a message, this is my paper, blah, 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 okay, and then you upload that same file. So that same first draft that you submitted to the other place, you're gonna submit here. So two different places. One goes directly to me as a professor, and one posts it online. You hit post to forum, okay? So what's gonna happen after you've posted that is that when people in the class go and click on this link, they will see everybody else's paper. You're like, oh, I don't want them to read my paper. Well, that's kind of not too bad because that's what we do in writing was we have peer groups. And once um, each student will read two papers from other students after they've been posted, each student will give feedback to the papers on what they read, okay? Um, the first review will be, you know, okay? The first review should be a student who has not been reviewed. So we don't want to have like one person with 10 reviews and one student with no reviews, okay? And then try not to do more than two reviews per student, okay? But that's not always possible based on how many people actually turn in the assignment, okay? Um, but that's part of your grade. Now, so for this week, the Friday, the February 22nd deadline, you just have to submit that first draft to here and to here. That's all you have to do. Next week is when you'll have a chance to do the feedback, okay? So for this week, you just write the full paper, do your best job here, and submit the same thing here, and so we can give you feedback. And this is for a chance for us to be able to look at it and say, okay, hey, well, you did really well with MLA formatting. Um, you didn't really pick a controversial topic. Um, it's, you only wrote a page. You didn't have a works cited page. Oh, but you did some really good quotes and stuff like that. So we want to make sure that you are um, doing that. Okay, and then sneak peek to next week is when you actually get a chance to do the feedback for other students. So that is the plan for this week, February 18th. And again, um, you can email me for specific, you know, one-on-one -on -one tutoring help. That's again, why we have the Writing Center. Again, there's their phone number. Give them a call and see how they best can help you. 
Okay, if you're on campus, you can set an appointment to go see them in person. If you're not on campus, they can do it over the phone, they can do it uh, through the computer, any number of ways. So, yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so that's it for February 18th.